So here I am at Thorpe Park Resort, where I'm uh, here for the opening day of Hyperia that you can see in the background. Now this video is going to be something along the lines of Hyperia versus Voltron at Europa Park. Because tomorrow I'm flying straight out to Europa Park to ride um, Voltron and compare these two new beasts by Mac that have just opened this year. Um, I don't. I've, I've said I think this roller coaster is going to be my favourite in England. I can't see that not being the case. But which one do I think is going to be best out of this and Voltron? I'd probably say my heart's just going with Voltron slightly at the moment. We're looking at the layout and how many elements there are in the airtime. However, Hyperia's got the insane drop, the, the outer bank inversion that looks absolutely incredible. So let's go, let's get a ride on it. Let's see exactly what I think to it. And then, uh, well, fly out to Europa Park and go on a Voltron. comparison vlog now with um, Hyperia to Voltron which I'm riding on Sunday. Um, look at this, I was queued in all this earlier. So it was 8am uh, and I was about an hour or so that way. So for all this and it's now 5.15pm, the park shuts at 8pm, well queue closes. I didn't expect to have another go on it now but I'm going to go and see uh, what the queue's looking like. Wow, I did not expect to potentially have, if I have another ride now, I could be having three. Um, God, yeah, I want to give you my thoughts a bit more now because I was so, I was in a funny headspace earlier after coming off of it. It was all a bit of a blur, having queued for six and a half hours for one ride, it breaking down, getting off it, getting back on it um, in the station. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I think, like I think I've said the Voltron will top it, but it was only a first ride and I think it will be close. So let's go from here. I'm going to have another ride or two on it and let you know what I think before flying out to Europa Park, which I'm going to include in this vlog as well as, um, well, yeah, the plane and then straight into Europa Park. Here we go, then the sun is setting and I'm starting my queue for my last ride on Hyperia, my second and last ride. Uh, going in the single, queue, single rider queue again. It's the same as where it was earlier. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's looking a lot better. This might only be an hour. Oh, happy days. Can't believe how quick this queue is moving so far. Um, yeah, about half an hour away, I'd say, and it's only been five, ten minutes. To be honest, the night ride would be cool, but a dusk, like, uh, just at the sunset would be just as cool for me. I can't wait to get back on. Let's go. <laughs> Total to three. Uh, first one was about 30 minutes, and then I was the last person 
getting a single rider queue. And I was on row eight as well out of 10, which was the furthest back I've been. The ride before that was row five, the ride before that is seven. And let's just put this very simply for a second. The Voltron has got a lot to live up to on Sunday. Uh, bear with me. So I just uh, picked up my Hyperion certificate again, um, that I'll be keeping. Um, but yeah, got a lot to live up to Voltron on Sunday. I'll go into some of the elements again in just a second before heading out to Europa Park. Yes, yeah, so I just got my thoughts together a bit more now. Outside Colossus, the only coaster I didn't actually manage to do today. Um, you can see Hyperia there in the background. So yeah, just to talk about it a little bit more there. Um, yeah, the last ride was my best ride of the night by far. Um, the first ride I had today was a little, um, a little rough at times actually. And uh, it was all just over so quickly. But having two rides in a row in the evening, gave me time to appreciate the incredible first drop. I did say it could potentially be the world's best first drop. I think Hyperion still has a better drop, but it's bloody close. That first drop is you're out of your seat and you twist and thrown to the side. Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Into the, um, into the Illumin, the non-inverting Illumin. Again, take that really good pace, grey out moment, then into the absolutely world-class inverted um, bank turn that is, just seems to go on forever. That is absolutely amazing, that element. Oh, that is my favourite by mile. One of my favourite elements on any coaster in the world. Um, and that brings you into the stall turn. Again, that seems to last for ages. You float, really well done. That's uh, just, just That might be even better than an RMC stall turn. Then the only real negative, you go into the splashdown and you really trim, you like literally lurch forward because it's carrying so much speed into the last airtime hill, or second from last, which you still feel the force from the airtime hill. But if I had it my way and the world, you know, you do whatever you want, the ride wouldn't trim then, it would go into more of a layout. I, I didn't think I'd be one of those people that like it's too short, but if it just kept going on, it would be world class like three or four decent airtime hills, another in inverted something, then it would be world class, but it's not far off. And that's where I'm going to leave it. And right now, I've always wanted to do this. I'm gonna uh, snap my fingers if you like, and we're gonna head to Voltron in Germany. See you there. Whoa! Goodness. Where's my hair gone? Where am I? It is Voltron. We are here at Europa Park following my awesome day at Thorpe Park that you've just seen and um, my three rides on a Hyperia which well, exceeded expectations slightly. It's got me thinking on the plane journey over here. Um, will, will Voltron top it? First impressions. It looks bigger than I imagined. More impressive, more intimidating. Um, hmm. I think it will be Hyperia. I do. I do. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. No trains going around at the moment. I'll put some footage of it shortly when uh, maybe it's just down very briefly. But next up will be a little bit of footage, as there was with Hyperia. And um, then my thoughts. Let's get on. make of that um, yeah it's, it's gonna be one of those again where it's my first ride so it's really hard to sum up it goes so quickly um, so let's just go through some simple things um, intensity more intense than I expected airtime about what I expected uh, launches more forceful than I expected um, smoothness uh, or roughness, uh, rougher than I expected. Um, yeah, first thought is because this the whole point of this video is is Hyperia versus this the Voltron, the two new Mac coasters in Europe for this year. I've got to say, I'd go with um, Hyperia. 
uh, it makes you actually really appreciate the extremely big elements on Hyperia and um, the, the smoothness of it considering the speed of it as well because this is obviously nowhere near as fast, nowhere near as tall etc 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 but it's pretty close um, obviously the length makes quite a big difference and yeah very intense I've heard people have said it's like really really rough on two of the seven trains or two of the, whatever how many there are so I don't know if I had one of them but it didn't seem that bad it did seem a bit too jolty um, some great ejector airtime though I've got to say um, let's ride it again I mean I'm gonna get on the, the rest of my day around Europa Park but um, I'll be back here momentarily in the video and let's have a couple more rides. Here we go then for ride number two on Voltron. It's slightly later, it's slightly greyer, a little bit of drizzle in the air. I hope for a better ride this time. I wasn't, I was, the, the thing is, I was um, slightly underwhelmed with Voltron while Hyperia went beyond my expectations so well I've got two more rides at least to have on it today 3 p.m. quarter past 3 p.m. my bus leaves at about 10 past 7 park closes half 7 let's go Came off of another ride on Voltron then, and um, funnily enough, got on the back row again. It's completely like what row you get. Sat in the middle right seat this time though, rather than the back left, and very slightly less rattly. Um, a better ride overall, a better ride. Some it's so intense, my goodness. Like, yeah, with this really, really relentless pacing, I would say. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that more, enjoyed that more, I'm going straight back round, I waited exactly 17 minutes to the dock when I sat down and that's what it said. Um, I'm going to try the single rider this time because it looks like it's moving a bit quicker but who knows. Um, but yeah, yeah, better ride, better ride, still not quite high period for me. Let's have one more, hopefully front row, I'll do anything for front row. I uh, can't complain with two back rows though. And let's see how I find my last ride. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've just come off of my third and final ride on Voltron. The verdict is in. It's a win for Hyperia at Thorpe Park. Two days again. I don't know what the odds of this are, but all three of my rides are up the back row. Um, the first and last ride were both back left, and the second ride was second from right. Um, that last one was pretty unbearable the rough roughness on there um, I wouldn't even if I had more time today I wouldn't go back round again um, unless I was guaranteed the front row not even one of the others like front row I think it could be a lot better but um, uh, yeah no no it's um, too rough on those side seats it's um, yeah not particularly enjoyable because you're bracing yourself so much and you can, like, I think like a headache, but whilst I'm going for the elements, my head starts like hurting. Um, if you watch me for a long time, you know I'm not one that is phased by much roughness. Any wooden roller coaster, not, not roughness though, it's like, it's just the joltiness, it's so jolty on those outer seats. Um, a shame really, I'm, I'm a little underwhelmed by it, because it's such an awesome layout, it's really good. And the ejector time sort of reminds me a bit of, um, some of these RMCs with the shorter uh, hills when it's just a bit uncomfortable and not pleasant. You know, my favourite airtime hill of all time is the first um, hill of Hyperion at um, Energy Landia, which is an absolute monster, but it's got the perfect balance. And I I'm a bigger fan of those restraints as well at, on um, in Interman coasters. But yeah, there we go. Let me know in, your, in the comments what you think of my verdict. I know this is some people's uh, number one roller coaster now. For me, don't, the second ride was the most enjoyable. 
and if, if they can sort out the issue with whatever it is with the roughness, yeah, it'd be a lot more enjoyable. But um, yeah, it's never fun when you're going around the layout and you think, you know what, I'd happily get off halfway through when it, when it got to the, um, the mid course when you turn around and go backwards. Both launches are really good. I really like the launch backwards, especially on the back seat. I'd imagine it'd be, it's better than the other rows. Um, and, you know, theming, awesome. I only waited 35 minutes that time in a single rider queue, which is really good. Um, and of course, next time I come here, it will be a, I'll get back on it and my verdict can change. These things do change. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, just it's a bit unlucky getting the back row three times. Although some people might get the front row three times and be like, oh, I wonder what it's like in the back. Um, but they're my thoughts, basically. Just trying to think if I've missed anything. Um, but yeah, amazing ops and everything like that, as, as expected. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of my um, verdict on Voltron vs Hyperia down in the comments and if I should do anything else like this. I don't care how far I have to go, <laughs> what I have to do to get on these coasters. Um, obviously there's finances and things like that, but um, yeah, I never regret it when I come out here uh, to any theme park. Um, stay tuned tomorrow, I've got a full vlog from Europa Park coming up and the day after that I fly to Italy to get on some quirky theme parks and roller coasters. Um, get to some quirky theme parks for some quirky roller coasters, I should say. Uh, if I've missed anything, I'll put it in now. Um, but, you know, so if I did, I did. But I'll see you next time guys, I'll see you for the full Europa vlog tomorrow. And thanks for watching. See you later. Ciao.